Okay, MMARising.com, backstage here with Marlo Shkonen. Uh, recently added to the Strike Force lineup and now expected to be debuting in the near future. Can you talk about your upcoming fight? Uh, yeah, well, first I will be fighting in October in the Netherlands of the show for the glory of my management team. It exists for 10 years and everybody like Alessandro, Mukasaki, and K1 fighters will be fighting. And after that, I will be, uh, will be well, coming here and uh, fight. I hope it will be the end of this year. Now, it's been, it's been mentioned that you're probably going to be facing Cyborg right away. Um, what are your thoughts on the fight with her? Well, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it because I should fight her before in, uh, in Canada. And uh, then she got an injury. So uh, she's a good, she's, well, she's an amazing fighter. But I was watching the fight with my uh, trainer. We did so, some uh, falls in the fighting. So uh, I've got a good strategy to be here. Yeah, you were, you were actually set to face her at, I think it was XMMA yeah, 7, second. and then was cancelled right at the last minute there when yeah. she was slated to face Atomi Akano instead a couple of weeks later. Um, now you've also faced off with another recent Strike Force addition which is Erin uh, Tuffel. Um, what are your thoughts on a rematch with her? Yeah. Want one? Do that. Yeah, she's a, Aaron is a good fighter. I, mean, she, I should fight her this, uh, this event and she could make weight. So then they brought me out there to be standing for if, uh, if Gina or uh, Saibo could make weight. And, uh, oh yeah, I really want to fight her. <laughs> yeah, now, prior to your first match, you had, had said something to the effect of you thought that she was rather arrogant. Do um, you still feel that way? Arrogant? Oh, well, um, so I'm going I believe there was a quote attributed to you, something like the personification of arrogance or something to that effect. Yeah, I don't know my words, but uh, Ari's kind of a, I don't know, it's, are you, it's maybe kind of a trash talk, you know, but yeah. I think that's just an act of her. I think she's a kind of a sweet girl. Uh, she seems to be a lot different away from competition than she is when building up to a fight. She seems to talk kind of a lot of smack and, yeah. then, and then not so much. But yeah, if you had a chance to avenge your loss to her, then that would probably put you even one step closer to a title. But as it sounds now, it looks like you're going to be facing Cyborg right away. So to, uh, a chance to yeah, a chance to compete for Strike Force title right off the bat appeals to you. Um, so beyond that. Are there any other uh, competitors in the 145 pound division that you would really like to face? Yeah, Gina. Yeah. <laughs> that would be obvious. And um, I've fought a lot of in, in Japan, uh, so the, the girls uh, there, the, yeah, well, all the heavy girls, uh, I already fought them. So, um, yeah, Erin, uh, Gina, Cyborg would be like three uh, girls. Uh, looking forward to fight. Yeah, because you really made a name for yourself originally over in Europe. And then now you are over in Japan, I should say, and now you're making the transition over to North America here. Um, how many fights do you think it will take before the North American audience will become more familiar with you? I haven't got a clue, to be honest. I, uh, I hope I can fight here a lot of fights because, you know, I love to train, but I even love, I love it more to fight. So uh, I hope that, um, that the audience will pick me up and uh, like my fighting style. Um, yeah, if it takes uh, 40 fights, it will take 40 fights. I don't care. Well, well, you might not be a crowd favorite if you start fighting Gina Carano. No, but I know it. <laughs> after Cyborg's reaction tonight, the crowd was definitely not on her side prior to her victory. Um, yeah, well, so if you took on Cyborg, you might be the fan favorite then. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that will be great. But when you're fighting, you're so focused that everybody can do it. Just one fight. It doesn't matter. Well, we definitely congratulate you on signing with Strike Force and wish you all the best in the, in the coming fights and the coming months. Okay, thank you.